Today I'm gonna show you my little secret to have the perfect irritated soy meat. Yeah, the texturized soy meat. We're gonna make it in a different way, so flavorful and delicious that you're gonna love my Mexican recipe, so stay with me. To Spicy Latina Mom, bienvenidos a mi casa, que es tu casa. I'm so happy to be here teaching you how to make this texturized soy because for all Monday meatless, it is perfect. And it is great for all women who are close to menopause. It's gonna help you so much to prevent the hot flashes and also to keep the density of your bones. So soy has so many nutrients. It has magnesium, it has calcium, vitamin 12. It also has omega-3. So it's a great source of protein as well of nutrients for your body. So today we're cooking the soy my way, a little kind of Mexican way so you can have great flavor and put it anywhere you want with any of my recipes. I actually have the recipe to make homemade chorizo, so you can make soy chorizo at home. That'd be perfect. And you can use any of my recipes, like the ceviche. You can make the ceviche with soy or even the mustard chicken, anything. You can just substitute the meat for the soy and you will have a perfect, healthy and vegan recipe. Over here, I have four cups of water. You can add much more as you want. And I'm gonna use all my vegetables that I have at home. And you can use any kind of vegetables that you have handy. So I have some corn. I'm gonna add one corn. I'm gonna add one carrot. And remember that what gives the different colors to your vegetables are the nutrients that they have. So actually, if you are, have a more colorful plate, that means that you're gonna be healthier and with a lot of nutrients in your body. So try to keep getting more and more colors in your food. So I'm adding this. I'm also adding some celery. Celery is awesome to give to any kind of soup to give flavor celery. That's your speciality. I have some uh, some col or repollo. We call it repollo. That is called cabbage in your country. And I'm gonna use some parsley. I have around half a cup of parsley. And I'm just gonna add it just like that. Half a cup of cilantro or coriander for all my friends in Australia and New Zealand. And I also two, I also have two bay leaves that we're gonna add. They are also awesome for all day. All the soups, we use it a lot in Mexico for the chicken soup. And actually, this is my recipe for chicken soup. But instead of chicken, we're gonna use the soy meat. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of cumin, as well as, well as one teaspoon of salt, and one garlic clove. We're gonna put all this to boil for around 15 to 20 minutes. We want the vegetables to cook, but we also want all the water to reduce a little so we can have this concentrate of vegetable that is gonna be giving the flavor to our soy meat. This is my way to make Mexican bouillon. Vegetable bouillon, it smells amazing. You have no idea, you will want to eat it just like that. It's, oh, now that the winter is coming, just give you like so much warm inside your home and everybody's gonna be happy at your home because it smells so great. And now we're gonna hydrate our, our textured soy. So I have two cups of textured soy and I'm gonna use one cup and a half of this bouillon. So I'm using this so we don't have any vegetables in there. We only want the, we only want the, the juices from here and all these flavors concentrated with all the vitamins that they will catch. It's amazing, it's really, really delicious. And it really makes a difference. I'm using two cups, each per one cup of soy that I have over here. And it really makes a difference. I have seen many people doing it just with boiling the water with garlic, salt, and onion, or actually just putting like boiled water. Believe me, this is gonna be really good. And this is gonna be our chicken soup without chicken. Yes, it will be our soy chicken soup. So I'm just gonna hydrate it over here. It's very important that, that the soup is hot, so you can hydrate this well. We're gonna leave it resting over here for about five minutes. If you have something that you can put on top so it will catch the juices, that's much better, or just keep on moving it just uh, once in a while so you make sure that everything is getting irritated. 
I'm putting some of this amazing vegetable soup in my plate. You can actually add potatoes if you have kids at home. I don't do it because I've tried to make all my recipes available for diabetic people and potato is not that healthy for people with diabetes or making diets, but you can do it if you are just making it for your kids. So now I have my soup over here. I'm gonna add some texture, some moisture, a uh, soy that looks, it looks amazing and so tasty. Let's add it just instead of the chicken and we are all set. And as I told you, this is really easy. You can you make the ceviche. I have a ceviche with mango that is beautiful, delicious. I have uh, some turkey, uh, sort of turkey chorizo and many other recipes. Actually, mole, you can make it with this. Or tacos, soya tacos. Ah, we have to do that together. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy. Please follow me on my social media. I'm everywhere as a spicy Latina mom, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and you can always find my ingredients on spicylatinamom.com with other many good ideas from our sponsors and also from some friends. So go and check it out, spicylatinamom.com. And I see you next Wednesday because every Wednesday I have new recipes for you. I hope you enjoy and send me your photos with my dishes. I love to see them.